um, yogic breathing, breathing prana, which simply means air. You could say spirit, you could say God, you could say eternity, whatever it is. So if you breathe through your nose, practice that a few times a day for a few minutes, uh, maybe hold it in 10, 20, 30 seconds, let it out through the mouth, whatever. It'll calm you down. There are all these methods. In each class I've said there are thousands of self-enhancement or spiritual enhancement techniques. They all work if taken to fruition. But the point is that there is a God, there is eternity. And it's not about a formality or a methodology or a practice. It's about a God, our Father God, an infinite kindness, a spiritual presence. We acquaint ourselves with God as God is and the rest will take care of itself. There's no method, there's no practice, no particular prayer. The direct path is, good morning God, good morning sir. I say that all lightly, it's, it's so simple, so pure, so wonderful. You have an old friend, someone you care about, your mom, whatever, you just, good morning mom. It's, the same thing. The air is filled with divine presence. Always. Early on in your practice, you'll have the illumination experiences or you'll recognize that you were born that way. And then you'll see people doing little strange numbers on you. Or maybe like, with me, I remember in my 20s, there'd always be like someone, there was something meant for me and they kind of get near me or in it or find out where I'm going to be and they would step in the way of a blessing that was aimed for me that some somebody wanted to give me something or something, they'd, they'd find a way to do that. And, and I didn't get upset, I just watched it with wonder. It's, it's ghastly, like, uh, so everyone in the world is following a, a particular God, but not God. The particular God they follow is called Mephistopheles, Satan, uh, the dark force, whatever you want to call it. And you don't have to call it anything or acknowledge it or recognize it. For in the end, like Anne Frank said, the sharpest, most powerful weapon you'll ever need is a kind and gentle spirit. Because when you sit quietly, walk quietly, stand, run quietly, fly quietly, always in the presence of your Holy Father God, there will be only answers, not questions. And the answers will be how you can give this knowing, this knowledge, this truth that there is a God to all those uh, of a pure intent. It's no more than that, it's no less than that, it's no different than that. There is a God, a God is it fills the air. I, how could you not know it? How could, how could someone not see this beauteous presence that fills the air night, time, and day? So you can breathe it in, enjoy it, or not breathe. You can sit quietly like a corpse, like they did in Nepal when I was there many, many years ago, and they're very, very quiet, and many places they had the bones or the bodies that, that were still more or less intact after many, many years after having passed because they knew there was a God, a purity, a decency. I remember back at the time someone mentioned that when you sit quietly the first time, knowing there's an illumined experience, an enlightenment, the moment you sit the first time, you are the Buddha. The awakened one is all it means. So as soon as you know it's there, that's the beginning and end of the practice. You'll never stop. You can't. It won't let go of you. Can't you feel it? Don't you know it? Aren't we aware of it? Isn't it with us always? 
It's more than faith, more than knowing. It just simply is. this kind spirit, this knowing, this awareness. It's yours. It's your identity. And that's the entirety of our life here, is to understand that, to identify with that, and let go of all the refuse of the world that seeks to attack. And in that process, we'll uninvolve our friends and loved ones. From their sense of the world existing. The world doesn't exist. Look in the eyes of a Buddha, and there are millions of them. We all have someone like that in our life, don't we? with only a kindly intent. That's God looking out from someone's eyes. It's God looking out from your eyes, from your heart, your soul. Early on we may grieve for the way the world is, and then we're going to quietly Accept the fact that the world isn't, never was, couldn't be. And that's the awakened state. It's a place of wonder, enchantment, true love, true romance. It's so pure. You know, when you sit and look in the eyes of your loved one or your child, or maybe having a dinner with a dear friend, and all is well with the world. Everything turns into ritual. You know, would you appreciate every moment, every second, every, every thought? Life becomes a prayer. Not one prayer at the deathbed. There is no death, never was, couldn't be. It's the awakened state. You could say a condition, an involvement with God, you could say anything. But when you're in the awakened state, there's nothing to say, there's nothing to think about. Again, you could do nasal breathing, breathe, breathe through your nose, even your sympathetic or parasympathetic nervous system will, can be helped. You can change anything in your, in your body structure, or be much healthier, if you practice that, and so many other things. That don't exist. You cannot practice. And just be here. It's so sweet and so kind. Because it's you, it's the real you. The world's always been called uh, an illusion in the East, right? And when you're illumined, you feel these states of infinite awareness. That's God. That's always here. So don't think of anything else. Don't chase anything. There's nowhere to go. Nothing to have or hold on to. There's nowhere to be. The more we quiet ourselves, the lighter our sense of perception becomes.
and there's no sense of someone experiencing your perception. It all goes up in a wisp. There's nothing to do or undo about our spirituality. Talk to God. Be with God. A friend, a father. There's nothing to fight, nothing to gain, nowhere to go, nothing to be. No need to improve yourself. Nothing to let go of. There's only the quiet, the simplicity, the openness, the goodness and kindness of you. We simply avail ourselves of this technique of nothingness that's always here. You'll see through the sky, the clouds, the stars, the ages, the eons. You'll see back beyond the beginning of anything or further beyond the end of anything. None of it ever was. It's just a simple, sweet quiet. So yes, all the techniques work. Practice them. They're fun. Or simply acknowledge Holy Father God. And you'll become that. And you'll never accept that. In the same way God will always become endlessly more humble the closer you become to that condition. The closer you come to that condition of complete selflessness, the simpler everything will be. There'll be no more questions, no more strife or search. You become this dizzyingly beautiful atmosphere. And that's what this attempt of expressing is. It's just, you're not here anymore and it's okay. And we get a group of us to do that at this point in history and it doesn't have to be. The interminable madness of this world is madness. The simple joy of you is God. Please talk to your Father God. And every moment you'll expand, you'll let go, you'll learn. It's quite wonderful to know him, the only God. It's quite wonderful to know you. There's a divine atmosphere that fills all space forever. It has more to do with you than everything that you ever thought or felt or believed or wanted or fought or gained or lost. It's beyond love itself. It's the other end of the rainbow. And isn't it you? The purity of this fresh morning breeze passing through the trees, the grasses, the highlands, the lowlands, and out to the shoreline, and then to the blue of the morning sky. Isn't it all you? 
Are you worth more than all the artifacts? All the places, all the times, aren't you worth more than that? To your Father God. Think about it. Think about what God is in contrast to the conditioned thoughts of this world existing. And yes, this faith will answer your questions. You won't starve to death. And if you do, you won't care. Please understand that. Please. There is a God. You are God's presence. That's the entirety of our life. Everything else is not just incidental. It doesn't even exist. And when we waken, from the slumber, the sleep. And remember, please awaken. Know that this beautiful sense of you, that you have of God will move through all the world and it won't be anymore. It will be like the last wave. It's softer than daylight. And kinder than the sea. There is a God. You are God's own. That's the entirety of existence. Thank you. Thank you, Craig.